What's up everybody and welcome back. Uh, good stuff coming out of Microsoft today and this aligns with everything I've been saying so far. Uh, Microsoft is gearing up to announce HoloLens 2.0 and they just sent out invites for an event. Now they sent these invites out way ahead of time which is a little unusual. Microsoft typically uses about a two week time frame but it's because of the venue that they're announcing them at. Microsoft is announcing this stuff at Mobile World Congress which takes place in Barcelona, Spain. When is it taking place? Uh, well, February 24th. So we got about six weeks or so before Microsoft is gonna do this. Now, how do we know that this is likely HoloLens 2 related? Well, uh, Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella is gonna be there. Uh, Alex Kitman is gonna be there and also Julia White. Now, the reason why we believe this is HoloLens because Al that's what Alex Kitman works on. The other thing is too, is Microsoft's bringing their CEO. They don't bring their CEO to everything. And so when he is at an event, we know that it is a large scale and big deal event. High ticket item, Satya's there, Alex is there, HoloLens 2 is gonna be there. I've been talking about a while for HoloLens 2.0 is gonna be coming uh, in Q2 of 2019. And this falls right into that wheelhouse of timelines. We're gonna be calling it uh, Sydney, or I shouldn't say they're not going to be calling it Sydney. It's codenamed Sydney. And so I'm expecting a significantly improved field of view. Uh, it's going to be running a Snapdragon 850 uh, processor. Now that's that's from Qualcomm. Obviously, it's, I believe it's going to have 5G capabilities as well. At least that's their target. Um, we'll see if that arrives on day one, but that is definitely in the pipeline for things. And there's also a brand new holographic processing unit, which is a fancy term for how Microsoft actually does that, that holographic uh, heads up display functionality. And so I'm expecting this to be a pretty big deal because if you remember this is, while we're calling this HoloLens 2.0, 2.0 was actually canceled. Uh, Microsoft canned that product about, was it two years ago maybe? And what happened was, is they were working on version 2.0 and then a magic leap and nobody else really materialized. Like there were no other competitors. They said, why should we kick out a revision if we have no competitors? So they, they stopped working on that and stopped dealing with that overhead and focused purely on this generation device. And so I'm expecting some big things because we should get about two generations worth of updates. And Microsoft has already made inroads too. So this is a big deal for the company. They're already companies uh, like Tyson Krupp uh, NASA is using them. Uh, a lot of automotive engineers are using them. So this is a, a big moment for Microsoft, which is why we are seeing executives go to the show. Now, the biggest deal is going to be pricing right now. It's upward. It's several thousands of dollars to buy the first generation devices. What's the second gen going to be? Well, it, who it's targeted at is going to dictate its price because I don't think they're going to come out and say, Hey, here's just the developer version. Granted, there very well could be, but they've already got the original device out there and all that product and all that, um, well, HoloLens goodness happening. And so I'm hoping that this is gonna be priced around a thousand bucks. I don't know if that's going to be the case. I know that was a target at one point. And so if they're gonna try to hit consumers, the, the lower the price, obviously the better. Um, Enterprise can easily absorb the thousand dollar price point. Um, they've already absorbed that much higher price point, although Microsoft is cutting deals if you're ordering these things in volume. Got to remember too, the military ordered hundreds of thousands of these things. I think, I think it was hundreds of thousands. It was quite high. And here we go. We're going to start to see the second generation. What I really, really hope is that Microsoft comes out with a crystal clear path to bringing all this product to market. And they don't just say, here it is coming later this year. Um, but I, I think they're ready. I think from what I'm hearing internally at the company, they've got a good product in their hands and th they're feeling confident. It's an interesting choice of show though. I will say that, it, very, very interesting. Um, mostly because MWC is Mobile World Congress and granted it does have mobile, it's not explicitly phones, but typically this event is for smartphones. That's where a lot of that noise gets made and obviously HoloLens is not a smartphone. So people are wondering, Hey, here comes surface phone. Um, I, I don't think we're going to see Andromeda at this event could be wrong, but I definitely think we're going to see HoloLens 2.0 based on who is going and what we're hearing around the rumor mill at this time. So be looking for that code name, Sydney coming February 24th, 5 PM CET is the time zone. We will keep you updated as I hear more about what is going to be included in that next gen hardware. I will keep you posted. That's all for now, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Catch you later.